Okay, I'm going to show you how to access a cool graphing tool on the internet. Go to mathvita.com. Here we are, and click on the helpful links part of the page. And the first link in that page is the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. Click there, and that will take you to a wealth of cool virtual manipulatives that are organized by topic and by grade so we are going to go to algebra grades 9 through 12 okay and scroll down the page and click the applet click the applet that says grapher okay it'll take a second to open up we're going to use this actually um, I'm going to show you an example of how to enter in some uh, transformation functions that we played with in class a little bit on doing transformation on absolute value. So here we see this window comes up when you get it and there's a place here that says f at x that's where we're going to enter our function and uh, a couple things you need to know about this particular applet it works on parameters of a, b, and c down here if you see where I'm clicking. Um, in class we did a, h, and k uh, so here we'll use A as A. We'll instead of being able to type H, we'll put B, and instead of typing K, we'll type C, where B and C will represent H and K. So we're typing A, clicking the absolute value button up in the top bar, doing X minus B, and then we'll write plus C, and this is analogous to the standard form of A times absolute value of X minus H plus K. The letters don't really matter. Our book uses H and K. I use H and K in class, but this uses B and C. So when you click graph, you notice we get an absolute value graph. And when I click A and move this slider, it affects the value of A for the function. It's plugging that number in for A up in the F at X window. And when I click B, it allows me to use the slider to um, affect the value of B. And for C, when I click that, it allows me to use the slider to change the value of C. So I'm um, just trying to show a quick demo about how you can come to this graphing tool and uh, enter a function that has certain parameters of A, B, and C and use the slider to affect them. Um, the software I use in class is not something you have available to you, so this is on the internet and it's pretty useful, so you might want to be able to uh, use it. And if you notice here, what I did was I made the values of A is 1, B is 0, and C is 0.